This Week in Security with Bert, <laughs> your host Bert, and my co-host. I'm Mandy. Boom. What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. Uh, my week is going quite well down here in Texas. Uh, the sun is shining. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. Um, but this week, guys and gals, cats and dogs, we have tons of awesome, uh, well, we have a couple of awesome articles that we came across in security um, that we think that you all might find quite helpful. Um, let's take a look. I'm gonna jump, Manny, I'm gonna jump right into this article um, that I was reading because I thought it was super awesome. You know, <sighs> let's see, let's see how it goes. All righty. Um, so this first article is coming from, as I read from my notes, <laughs> new access control solutions changing real estate and wow. and it's coming from think realty um and the title is new access control solutions changing real estate um and before we cover over some uh you know points that we got from this thing i just want to say i thought this article was pretty cool and interesting because you know thinking about you know real estate you know, now approach to security in 2021, you know, it's just something fascinating because I, I from my thinking, my own personal, you know, uh, mindset, you know, I didn't think, you know, when I'm looking for a house or something like that, or when I talk to my, you know, family members about getting a house, you know, the first thing that jumped to their mind, the first thing, the first thing that doesn't come to their mind is like, you know, how to position for access control or the mm -hmm. different access control systems you know, that people are thinking about getting. Um, and, you know, even with me being a renter, um, you know, having an alarm system and stuff like that was kind of way down on the list of things to do. But since yeah. we are now in very, we're in a better time, <laughs> 2021, 2021, um, you know, I think more about these things and, you know, different access, access control systems or, you know, even physical security you know, going out and about, you know, in stores and stuff like that safely um, when I can. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I thought this article was awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, it goes over, let me see. You know, one of the points in the article, um, Sorry. it talks about uh, creating, you know, a digital infrastructure and, you know, um, access control and physical security, you know, it's becoming more, uh, technologically sophisticated so you know should be at the top of your list when you know looking for people to host these different services and stuff like that and you know that's super important um any points that you pull that you pull from that uh article mandy well no i like what you're you're talking about too because now it's kind of like it goes into something that we i mean again i'm, I'm gonna selflessly selflessly i would say here just name drop um <laughs> for imac again because this is just going back to like what lee and colin talk about too is like now or they've been talking about recently with real estate and multifamily um commercial real estate sorry and multifamily um access control it's just kind of like now access control and especially with the whole latch thing oh, yeah. uh, the other week we discussed you know latch going public a, you know, we're beginning to see real estate or commercial real estate and multifamily real estate, you know, what, what have you actually take, actually more so prioritize access control. It is the first impression that your tenants are going to have in a building or, you know, your employees are going to have when they walk into the office building is that, um, interaction with the door and security there. And then one of the things this kind of reminds me of, like it's talking about how, you know, um, cloud-based access control systems, they kind of enable uh, more intelligence systems. Okay, they make, it, they make it easier to distribute credentials to everyone and it just makes it so much easier. So like if you lose a key card or something, like I, I remember when I lived in this really, great building in downtown Orlando. It was lovely, absolutely lovely. And it had like the, the fob, the key fob, which I appreciate it. Cause you know, I much, it was something different, you know, like I was used to um, using an actual physical key and all of my other 
apartments. So having a fob was kind of nice, not very clunky to carry around. Would I have loved it to have been mobile? Absolutely. Because even more so, it's like, you know, (laughs) with all these technologies that the article is discussing, and you all should check it out, um, because I'm not doing it justice. Um, (laughs) You know, we have more capabilities here. We have touchless access control. We have, hold on. You're going to have to edit that, Sam. Where was I I going with that? I mean, you know, with that being said, Manny, you know, I think about it, you know, when I think about, you know, cloud-based technologies and, you know, where, you know, security is now. I mean, just from my own, again, my own personal, like, feelings towards it, you know, there was a time period where I was just like, oh, I don't really want to use my key. I just want to be all digital. But, like, heaven, there are, like, technologies out there where you can have both physical key and actual digital key. And like my experience with both of them, you know, there are the cons and pros, but like moving forward into 2021 where the technologies are so much more advanced than it was back in the day. You know, I kind of like having the option of having both, you know, so when I go to like my Airbnb or when I go to, you know, my mail room, you know, having the options of like being able to access that uh, area frictionlessly or actually using a key or punching some numbers. I just love the options. And I think moving forward in 2021, we get a lot more of those options. And yeah, this article really, you know, kind of dives in some of those pointers of, you know, what's coming in the future for security. Yeah, and exactly. And here's where, here's where I was uh, going with what I was starting on that tangent about living in that apartment in downtown Orlando. Yeah. It, it, was, it, it, it it, it is an, an amenity. Not having a physical key is kind of like an upscale amenity. It makes you feel a certain way. It's like, oh, this is kind of, all right. <laughs> and it's, of course, for mobile, like even more so. And it's much easier, you know, if you were to lose your key, and it's easier to kind of put that um, dual authentication in there. You know, if you lose your key, like it's double the security on that one. If yep. you imagine you, you lose your key or something happens or someone hacks into your email and they're trying to get access to your apartment or, or even just the apartment building as a whole um you know they're gonna have to have that uh, have a code sent to your phone and everything this is this is like first before they can even get that new credential sent to them to be able to come in and like this is just what all this new technology is enabling and i think real estate is beginning to see the real estate world is beginning to see like yeah no things kind of start and end with access control but the other thing i was getting to with the apartment building thing here is one of my hangups was the fact that I always had to go downstairs to, and it might just be my mere laziness, but and it, <laughs> I always had to go downstairs to um, bring my guests in, oh. you know? Mm. So it's just kind of like, you know, with this kind of, even with, with mobile, you know, we're thinking you might have, tenants might have more of the ability within like the app or something, what have you, uh, to actually you know, say uh, to actually give people or guests access to come in temporary access, you know, expires after 24, 48 hours, you know, stuff like that. So that I wouldn't have to go downstairs. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not a terrible inconvenience, but like having that extra layer of convenience, is I think what 2021 is going to be about. And I think that's what real estate is seeing. Like they're just seeing it's, it's all about the tenant. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And I like that approach, you know, from this article where they talk about how, you know, focus specifically on attendance and, you know, Mm -hmm. like who's coming and how to pick the technologies for that specific, you know, demographic or whatever, you know, it really adds more like a sense of ease to, you know, the renter or something like that, you know, because it always feels good. It always feels good to me to feel safe. And Mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I look at wherever I go. You know, whether that be my friend's apartment or whether that be, you know, to my buddy's house in some other neighborhood and just that like, you know, that that sensibility and that knowledge, knowing that the security industry and like, you know, the real estate industry is like, you know, putting more emphasis and thought towards that, you know, in the beginning of the picture than, you know, you know, way later once problems emerge, you know, I, I think that's an awesome thing. Yeah. And in case it didn't sound like enough of an advocate before for mobile. <laughs> The whole thing here is if I lost that key fob too, 
I believe I would have had to have paid $150. Ooh. So to get a new fob. So let's talk about that too, <laughs> versus just, you know, sending like, Hey, lost my, you know, or something happening to my mobile, my mobile phone or what, what not like, but what, what essentially would happen to a digital mobile key other than you losing your phone or something like that. But that's just like, you know, ideally we don't lose our phones, <laughs> but we do lose fobs and we do lose physical keys. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm off on, yeah. on that tangent. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that's case closed. <laughs> that's, but that's a good tangent because even with your phone, if you lose it, you know, nine times out of 10, I mean, that's security protected and yeah, not a lot of people are breaking into your iPhone or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I enjoy it, but <laughs> but not a lot of people are breaking into your iPhone. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that was a good point. So there's so many different points um, in this article that you guys should definitely go and check out. Nice. Awesome read, awesome read. And with that being said, I am going to bring us over into our second and last article for you know, for this week, um, and it is titled "20 Percent." of enterprises experienced an increase in physical security incidents since the start of COVID-19. Now, just with that being said, an increase in incidents since COVID-19. You know, I'll, you know, first thing that comes to mind, well, a lot more people at home, you know, desperate times, desperate measures, people are going crazy. Some people are going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and a lot of people like, since they're at home now, a lot more people like, well, I need to up, up my security. You know, I need to like finally put more focus on it, more focus on these things that I, you know, may have, you know, overlooked. You know, a lot of people are getting a lot more stuff delivered, you know, and here hints come, you know, you know, a lot of different camera systems that people are using and integrating with now. I, it's, it's awesome. But anyways, in this article, it breaks down um, some research. And I know how much you love this research, Manny. You want to <laughs> <that in? laughs> drop a few points from the research that they did? Oh, sure. Why not? I mean, I mean, I'll have it <laughs> off the top of my head, but I can certainly. So there were a few figures like uh, nearly one third of respondents to this uh, research study uh, said that they believe that they will see even more of an increase in physical security incidents this year. So I'm kind of, the other thing is before I even go on, the, uh, another thing worth noting here is more than 40% of respondents said they made changes to their security strategy since the start of the pandemic. And then uh, more than half of the 40% indicated they installed new video cameras, which emerged as the most common way in which respondents strengthened their security posture going mm. into 2021. That reminds me of my posture. Mm. Um, <laughs> but right. so I'm, I'm kind of interested even more about this study because I'm wondering if since the pandemic, the rise in, in respondents saying that they increased their strategy their security strategy. I'm wondering if they're seeing more incidences because they actually, you know, got the technology to monitor that yeah. kind of stuff and catch it, or it's just, mm -hmm. I, I need to look more into this study. Like it seemed really interesting. Um, it's from pro vigil, uh, and they, they pulled like 124 business operation leaders, uh, across a variety of commercial vertical markets mm -hmm. to get all of this information. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I'd be interested to see, you know, why, you know, why they're seeing this increase, whether it's just because maybe uh, it very well could be because people are not in the office. So thieves or what have you, you know, whatever's going on there, people feel that they're able to do to get away with it more so since there's less people in the office looking around. Yeah. So I mean, that to me makes sense too. Um, and then the other part of it, I think they mentioned like something, they mention also like security guards. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they deep dive. I'm looking at my notes again, guys. So uh, another part of this poll was, you know, perceptions and use of security guards. And, you know, one of the main points that really stood out to me um, in this poll or whatever, in this question of security guards, you know, it says nearly 24% of survey respondents indicated that they've used security guards in their business. And of those respondents, now here's the point that I thought was quite interesting. 48% <laughs> um, indicated 
they had experienced absentee absenteeism with their security guards. And I'm just like, man, you know, hmm, it's kind of stereotypical. Hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> not all though. Yeah, not all, not not all. All. But you know, you know, I watch a lot of TV and I see these security guards. People be right. racking these security guards. I love security <laughs> guards. But it's just like from this poll, I'm just like, wow, 48%. Wow, you know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Absenteeism. So there's gotta be some kind of method of like checking in or something. There's a lot of great security systems out there. I'm not gonna oh, yeah. say. I'm not going to add a, another plug in here, but there are some really good ones that help track stuff like that or, you know, keep security guards vigilant, but most security guards are, are vigilant on their own. But oh, yeah. like, I was just, that was just kind of disappointing to see that. I was just like, man, like no wonder these companies are beginning to install security systems now. I mean, security systems are, uh, are beginning to install video surveillance systems yep. just in case. Like, it's just kind of like that added layer of security but oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that kind of blew my mind i still want to see why we had that uptick very yeah. interesting regardless but Bert, you have any more thoughts this was kind of like a shorter article here oh yeah no 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 um i mean another thing with you know to kind of tailgate on what you just said you know in, in terms of video they also in this survey they you know they looked into the trends in video and mm. nearly 80 percent of respondents said they use video surveillance at their workplace. And just over half of those use remote video, re, uh, uses remote <laughs> video monitoring. And I find that quite interesting. Oh yeah. There we go again. Smarter technology, cloud-based. You can do it anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remotely. Come no events. Come on. You don't go to be there. <laughs> 2021. Wow. Wow. But anyways, um, <laughs> with that being said, this has been a great week in security, you know, uh, and a great week for the world, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope the sun is shining wherever you all are. Uh, and with that being said, um, if you don't have any final thoughts, Mandy, um, I would just say look forward to the future of uh, insecurity. You know, it's becoming way more advanced and cool. <laughs> Heck yeah, we'll see you next week. Next week. All righty, guys. Bye, have a great weekend.